it's not good. So actually, uh, there's a lot of demand and it's going to increase, uh, you know, 38 to 40% over the next decade, okay. So it is demanding like, you know, out of nine, which are related to the product development, okay, uh, three are onto the scrum part, okay. So it, it has a very good uh, demand in future. And not only that, we actually, we do like, you know, few things like, what are uh, the basic expectations and why actually we need to do for the, uh, you know, go for this particular scrum master is, uh, yeah, the first thing is your monetary benefit that we actually see, right? I mean, whatever it is, uh, well, we can say like it's our passion, we can say like it's our, you know, interest or whatnot, but at the end, like it is how much you earn, okay? It is a very good uh, lucrative job, uh, they are paid well, okay? Not only that, uh, you you can you know upskill and you know you can you know, move into the managerial roles if you are interested to become a part you know people management. If you are interested in this people management, then um, this is one of the good uh, role that you can you know work into. So also one thing is the work life balance is uh, very you know it's very good thing over here. I mean you can uh, expect that work life balance most in the scrum master role. Because your job is not going to be that much hectic, uh, you you mostly you know you need to um, facilitate. You need to you know uh, be with the people, understand their problems, you know help the team members, be with the project manager, uh, give them whatever reports that he needs. Okay, it's not you, you make the people work and you at the same time help them. So that's what actually happens, and it's not like that you know a type of uh, test. Um, you know, as you are into a different stream. You, Right, so it's not like you know you go. You need to code, and you know you need to test and be available for whatever issues that happen. And you know, if you are not able to manage that particular work-life balance, again, it's going to be a hell. Right. So, Scrum Master, uh, we can expect that you know if it's a little pretty cool job. Okay. So, what actually uh, this tops uh, the skills of the Scrum Master? Are, you know, I generally we do have all this type of you know inherently. But, you know, explicitly saying, like, we need to have good communication skills at the same time, you know, we should have these listening skills, okay? And we should have, uh, give me a minute. So, uh, what actually is expected for uh, to become a good scrum master is, you know, I should have, you should have, you know, communication skills. Um, so, just improve on the communication skills uh, and, you know, also the listening skills which are required. Okay. And uh, this will help you, you know, if you have already have the scrum knowledge, you know, try to upskill here. Okay. Uh, when you are into the scrum uh, master role, you know, try to collaborate with the teams, uh, you know, and, uh, at the same time, like it is expected that you should have the Jira knowledge and also the risk management is one of the things. Okay. Risk management in the project. Okay. How you handle that risk in the project is very important. So, uh, these are the actually the skills uh, that a scrum master will possess. If not, he is going to learn. Okay. If not, okay, he has to adapt. So, that's what actually the scrum master role is all about. I mean, uh, not the role, it's about like what actually the skills needed. Okay. So I can say like three to four years of experience is required. Uh, and it's not that you should be in IT field to have this particular training done. You can be into any of the stream. You can come into this particular role because it's mostly into the management role, not technical one. Okay. So if you are afraid of technical part, no need to worry. You need not worry about that. Technology is just, you know, no, no way related to the Scrum Master. Okay. It's mostly into the management. Managing the projects, managing the people, okay, managing the process. Any questions here? Uh, so what actually we uh, have the salary expectations is almost twice what you are getting with the years, okay. So we can expect a very good salary, uh, twice average. This is not just uh, you know average. We can approximately we can expect the two times how much of years of experience that you have, okay, twice that. That you can expect, you can jump into that particular thing. 
Okay. So you may ask me like what after the Scrum Master, what I am going to do. Okay. You can choose your career path. Okay. You can go from, you know, being a Scrum Master to screen a Scrum Master or you can be an agile coach. Okay. Delivering the lectures, guiding the team, helping the people, organizations, you know, delivering the values. Uh, the, okay. Make the people know about agile manifestos, uh, how you implement a particular project. So this, this all the things, you know, are related to agile coach. You can be a product owner, okay. You can uh, the project manager. Okay? The project manager is a person who deals, you know, manages the project from end to end. So in the product owner, but he is mostly related to the particular product. So, so in those roles, like he can usually, you know, switch over depending upon his interest, how he can he wants to be. Okay. So this is how the career growth is going to be. Okay. Uh, so any questions still here? Uh, So, uh, in, uh, offshore, uh, mainly the Scrum Master, it will be uh, in uh, on-site only, sir, or offshore also? I mean, India also? Yes, yes, it's offshore, okay. offshore only. It's everywhere. Wherever you implement a particular project, uh, if it is an agile way, then you have this. Uh, because this uh, if it is on-site and offshore project, on-site some white people will be there, sir. They will drive. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not that they are going to drive. If there is a scrum master there, probably he is going to drive. If you are a scrum master, you will drive from here. Okay. okay. So what is the so, syllabus will be covered, sir, here? Yes. Yes, yes. I, I will discuss about that. Okay. So uh, on 3rd December, 2nd December, when I was giving the seminar, okay, on Saturday, like, I was just searching. I was getting almost, you know, three gate jobs on that particular day. Okay. Scrum master with four years of experience. Okay. It's all over India. Okay. Uh, but fine, right? So... You have a lot of uh, good uh, really, I mean, uh, opportunities for the Scrum Master. Okay, there are two actual uh, certifications for this one. One is PSM certification and a Scrum Master, a CSM certification. You can do any of these things. PSM is uh, one time, if you write, then that is valid for lifetime, whereas CSM is, you know, it has to be written for every two years. Okay, it is, this has to be renewed. So that's the biggest along with CSM, okay. So generally we uh, recommend to go with the PSM and uh, it is uh, better. I mean, why to waste money unnecessarily and you know, doing so many times. So we generally recommend PSM one. Okay, uh, so the in general, uh, this is the way like, you know, it's uh, valid for two years, whereas this is going to be you no know, expiration, okay. It is $200, whereas the uh, certification cost is going to be $1,000. Okay. Whatever. Uh, here the training is given by a Scrum Master uh, who is the certified by Scrum Alliance in CSM. Okay, It is going to be a two-day course in uh, somewhere outside in the five-star hotel and they are going to train you for two days, have their lunch and all. And it's going to be almost 25 to 30K for two days. Okay, then they will have some exam and then you will be giving the certificate here. Yeah. It's not required. Uh, you can just attend this training and you can take the exam. Okay. Uh, so you are saying something uh, 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 regarding the syllabus? Yes, sir. Syllabus, what syllabus it will cover? Okay, fine. Before we go with the syllabus, let us see like what actually is all the Scrum framework about. Okay, what we are going to do. What we are going to learn in this role, and uh, the whole thing is about that. And after that, I will go. I'll be showing you uh, what is the syllabus, which is mostly related to what is there in the figure away. Okay. So, as a scrum master, okay, you are the person who will, you know, uh, facilitate, help the team, okay, work with all the people. So, you will be working with this particular person called a product owner. You will be working with the development team and you will be working with the whole organization altogether. Okay. So, here in the as per the Scrum Guide, okay, the Scrum Master role is for three things one is with the owner, development team, and with the product, uh, sorry, with the organization. So, there are clearly some diff roles which are defined, uh, responsibilities are defined, accountability is defined, and you will uh, learn in this syllabus. Uh, how the Scrum Master should okay, uh, do his duties or be accountable for certain activities in this particular Scrum framework. Okay. So those in, those are the things which we will be data. Okay. There are certain uh, events in the Scrum framework. Okay. Those are uh, 
the sprint okay the sprint is nothing but uh, one to four weeks a container event actually okay what do you mean by container event it is like uh, that will last for a certain duration of time okay one to four days, one to four weeks so in these one to four weeks you have to deliver certain things okay that is called as a sprint so in the sprint uh, so you will be the person okay you will be sitting along with the product owner and deciding on what to work on this particular sprint okay so you the product owner he will come up with particular things which are to be delivered to the product so he will maintain he will create a particular product backlog okay that is called as a backlog list of items are called as a backlog so product backlog let us say for example uh, you have a product called laptop you want to develop a product called uh, laptop and uh, he will list out all the things which are required to develop a item uh, required to develop your product, your laptop. Okay, so you'll maintain, you will uh, list out all the things. Okay, and in the there is one event called as sprint planning. Okay, there is another event called as daily scrum. Then is, there is another event called as sprint review, and another one is called as red flag. So scrum master will facilitate all these events. Some of the people are responsible for accountable for these particular events. Okay, so those roles also we are going to discuss. These how these people are going to be accountable, what they need to do, what they are going to do, and uh, for what they are responsible, everything will be discussed. Okay. So in the sprint planning, what happens? What they are going to discuss in the sprint planning, uh, what the development team does, or what, what the product owner does, okay, how the scrum, scrum master is going to help. Okay. So everything will be discussed in the sprint planning. So once the sprint planning is ready, then they will take few items from this product backlog and put it in the sprint backlog. Okay. Now this uh, uh, these particular smaller items, okay, they are going to work in this particular sprint, okay. So within this sprint, okay, they are going to have daily scrum where people are going to talk about what they are working on, what problems they have and all, okay. So we are going to see the format of this daily scrum. We are going to see the format of sprint planning. We will discuss in detail, okay. Next, after uh, four weeks is done or two weeks is done, then we will have the sprint review meeting, okay, where you are going to showcase what you have worked on to the customer, okay. So the customer will come to know like uh, uh, how whatever actual software that you have developed, like how it is going to work in reality. Okay? It's not going to be a PowerPoint presentation or a document presentation. So the real working software is going to be seen here. And later, they, after it is moved into production or any of the development phase, okay, then they will be having a a retrospective meeting. So this is also an event where the Scrum Master together with the stake, with their development team, okay, product owner, they are going to sit together and analyze like what, uh, how they have done. Okay, so this is actually uh, been, uh, no, these, are, these are the events in the Scrum and we will in detail discuss about all these things. We are going to use one tool called Jira to track this particular progress. We will also work on, we will also, you know, create accounts for the Jira and see how the projects are implemented in Jira. Okay. We will analyze certain charts. Okay. As you are asking syllabus, I will just showcase the syllabus. One minute. I'm stopping the screen share. You have any questions? You can ask, not an issue. Okay. Are you, are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is going to be duration for 20 to 25 days. Okay. Uh, so what we are going to, uh, the, this is one of, uh, this is the syllabus that we have. Okay. So we are going to discuss about uh, the life cycle, the software development life cycle. Okay, uh, the Agile introduction, the Agile overview, the principles in the Agile and the values. Okay, then we'll come to the Scrum. We will have the roles, okay, the PO, the Scrum Master, development team. So as per the Scrum book, or the Scrum guide that we have, okay, we are going to discuss the roles of each and every uh, 
uh, every I mean, role, okay, every role and their accountability. Okay, we are going to discuss on the sprint planning in detail what happens in the sprint planning. We are going to discuss on the daily scrum. Okay, we are going to discuss on the sprint review and the retrospective. As per the scrum guide, like we will discuss about the values, the pillars. Okay, we will see what correlation they have. Okay, how these values and pillars are you now help us in delivering a you know, good feature or product. Okay. Then we will also create few uh, create a dummy accounts in the Jira and see like how we are working for a project. Okay, this is going to be a real time uh, scenario. Okay, we will create an epic. Epic is nothing but your requirement is an epic. Okay, on the just broader sense. So we will again create certain uh, divide that particular report into smaller stories called as user stories. Okay, smaller things called as user stories. We will see how to write the user stories. Okay, and we will see like how to assign the user stories in Jira and uh, you will see how to prioritize them. Okay, we will have one prioritizing technique, okay, which is the important one, which has to be taken, how much time it takes. So we do that with a particular game called as a planning poker. Now planning poker is one of the important game uh, which is used to you know prioritize. Okay. Next we will create a project, we will work on the project and complete the project. Once uh, we complete the project, we will take the charts in the scrum. Okay, there are a few charts which are very important for your interview as well as for the certification. There will be a lot many questions because if you are going as a real time uh, uh, candidate, okay, they will be you know asking you several questions, uh, not only on the scrum guide on all these things, but also on the charts. So they will give you a chart and ask like why it is looking like this, why this, why it should have. And what are the reasons for uh, having this particular uh, you know, chart like this? Why not? Like, what happens if the chart looks in a different way? You know, these people are going to drill you down on that. Okay. Uh, burn down chart was one thing. Burn up chart. Have you come across these type of charts? Uh, Was, Winky, or Carlos? Anyone? No, sir. Okay. So these charts are very important for your interest, uh, interview point of view. Then we have to also do the capacity planning and velocity planning. Capacity planning comes into picture when you start for the sprint planning. Okay, so that uh, before we start with the sprint planning, we do with the capacity planning. That means like how many resources are there, how many user stories that we have to take for this particular sprint, depending upon the their availability factor. Okay, or uh, how many we can assign to them depending upon their you know all these things we need we will be discussing on the capacity planning we'll also calculate their capacity the velocity depending on that we do you know assign the value we, we assign the task to them okay. so those are the very important things which are to be you know everywhere you know, the questions are going to be asked in that way so definition of done what do you mean by definition of done what is acceptance criteria what is do or definition of ready so these are the uh, scrum uh, related things which everyone uh, is important in uh, exam point of view or in uh, interview point of view okay then you will come across certain terms which are maybe other are mentioned in the scrum book but not discussed in detail so we will go in detail uh, with all the things like what do you mean by minimum releasable feature what do you mean by minimum viable product Okay, and uh, there are certain other frameworks like Kanban uh, and uh, pay program, but we will mostly concentrate on CAN. Okay, then uh, we need to also discuss like certain KPIs and OKRs. Okay, uh, these are key performance indicators and objective key results. So, and we will also discuss in parallel. Okay, I want, don't want to spend a uh, separate uh, this thing. Uh, whenever uh, we finish the class or before we finish the class, uh, before five minutes or few minutes we will discuss we'll take a question and you know we'll discuss on that okay those are going to be in parallel all the scrum master exam questions and real-time scenario based questions this is how actually the course content looks okay so the duration is going to be for 20 to 25 days okay so that's that's any questions here anything you are expecting yes you will be getting the recordings of this class every day uh, okay the next day morning probably you'll be getting once they upgrade and you will also be getting uh, whatever the slides that I share that will be also be uploaded into the drive. Okay, you will get an access to contact because of for this one. Okay, uh, so for all the topics which I mentioned here, you will have all the doc, all the PPTs. 
all the documents necessary documents okay everything will be posted in the drive that they give okay the access they give so everything will be posted over there you will get the recording if each each and every class any plans will prepare sir like a microsoft project plan any document no, documents we prepare some master the reports no no we don't prepare on the microsoft project. we just generally go with jira jira as a scrum master jira scrum master is not a jira admin again we just have access to the jira tool for our project we are not going to create any project by ourselves we create sprints scrums everything you will show us yes. how to we will create yes we will create a mini project we will create a project for of two weeks okay sprint for two weeks okay then you know we will have one any reports will okay, prepare, sir, for management management you don't prepare any reports sir we that's what the reports are the charts which i am saying okay so the charts will be getting it from the jira board and we will just put it we will see like how it progresses okay we will derive it we will help uh, jira. Uh, completing the course certificate also sir we will do any uh dumps or something you will send yeah we will upload uh, whatever the interview questions that are asked and as well as in the exam point of view i will upload there you can refer Okay, normally, so I know some point, support, some support will be there. No? So passing uh, is anything can be uh, done. Okay. Support know? in the sense, uh, so after then, the class, support is no, 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 we can't support as per the Durga no, sir, standards. Exam, exam. So, yeah. Normally, some people, you know, they will uh, support from back end no, to clear the certificate like that because it's uh, very difficult to pass, right? Sometimes Durga soft, see, see. okay, I got your point. Uh, actually, those individuals who are doing it, maybe they are doing by themselves or with the, their mm -hmm. organizations are there training uh, institute or their own in training center might have are doing that. But here Durga Soft is not providing it. They are providing only the training part. Okay. So okay. that's clear on that. They are clear on that. Yes. Actually, we will also go through this particular scrum.org where you can uh, also do your uh, assessments uh, take multiple trial exams okay before you go for an uh, end exam before you go for your the practical real uh, scrum master examination psm1 so that will happen but uh, now supporting after that is uh, not even not in our this thing but uh, you can i mean because like as soon as um, as and when we complete the contacts, plan, then... you have any point of contact so that you know we can we can talk to that person and let it support i mean for the power for the clearing the exam clearing the exam uh, point of view uh, see uh, actually the dirgas of people you know don't want to uh, what what i mean to say is like they not don't want to assure you uh, 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 uh this thing on the uh, exam point of view okay because that will be a little you know um at a type of a commitment to the people so that's not they are not going to do that it's just mostly con they are concentrated on the training okay so that is the one thing so totally how many weeks sir can you show me the last week sorry uh, last week week four week yeah actually it is uh, given as week four no not day six also day five okay uh, there are only five days in a week not for six days so it is 20 days sir huh? yes it's 20 to 25 days if it extends for one or two days yeah we will get paid okay so when is the next when is the batch start sir actually is it uh, from today only or uh, any date is there uh, yeah, yeah, actually, uh, we, we are going through this one of the topics that we actually went through, and uh, yeah, I'm just sharing one minute. I, I generally start ahead because I don't want to, you know, have this and that again. So I generally pre I go ahead with this particular discussion. Okay, then you will understand like what is the sense. Okay, fine. Now let, let us discuss for 20, 15 to twenty minutes, and uh, okay. Uh, so what you understand from this picture? Let us try to take from this picture the right uh, bottom corner picture okay uh, this is one of the thing where the customer wants to have something here okay he actually wanted the tire to be tied to this uh, tire to be not okay uh, tied to this particular branch okay and how we explained is in this fashion okay 
uh, he wants to swing and he wants to have this tie to aware is not even you know then uh, the engineer who has to design has designed in a different way okay and the program who wrote the code it's something different and how the sales executive described as something it's very you know very very uh, very nicely explained okay and the, how the project was documented the project was documented in such a way that you know it was nothing there there was nothing and the operations installed was only you know a row part okay other things that will come into picture later and it was built for heavy things okay and the help desk the supporter no so this so where do you think you know uh, if you see this particular picture this set of pictures uh, what do you think about i mean uh, do, do you, what's the problem here actually what happened and what was the problem what do you think Anyone did? Hello? Vas or any kind of Swamji Krishna Vinky. If you see this particular picture, the, what do you what do you understand? What is the problem? Uh, mismatch between uh, requirements and actual expectations. Yes, us. Okay. Anyone? Uh, the major thing is communication problem. So we have to understand what the exact uh, uh, requirements of the customer. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. If you have uh, understood the requirements of the customer, do you think that this is, this will be, I mean, can you, are you 100% sure that you will be meeting the expectations of the customer? Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Right. You are so right. Okay, everyone I mean, was also here, right? So actually, uh, here the requirements of the customers are not met. Okay, there was no proper uh, maybe uh what what we generally feel is like there was no uh, communication happening properly. Or uh, the project leader, okay, didn't you know may might have not or he didn't, you know, go back to the customer and ask, like, whether I'm understanding properly. He never asked, okay, maybe, like, that was a, one of the situation you can assume. Okay, here, uh, you can see the engineer might have not, you know, showed, went back to the project manager and asked, like, whether I'm doing correctly or it is meeting the expectations of at least the project leader. He didn't do that. No one here, in the, all these steps, they didn't do anything, right? They were just doing their part and completing it, that's it. They, they didn't even try to you know go back to the customer and ask whether uh, it is meeting his expectations or they, they didn't even try to rectify their mistake that's one of the biggest uh, problem and i think that is one of the biggest failure in this particular thing okay i was also uh, let me give you two scenarios okay there uh, i will give you uh, try to understand these two scenarios okay uh, in one of the scenario uh, a mother, okay, was, uh, you know, said her kids to cook and, you know, she put her mobile in the home and she went for shopping outside, okay. Okay, no, during the scenario one, she forgot the mobile, okay, and uh, now the the kid has to cook, okay. Now, uh, the, kid, uh, the kid, what he will do is he will try to understand what, what her mother said and she, he will try to cook, okay, or she will try to cook. Okay. He will see the recipe uh, in the YouTube or he will ask his neighbor or her neighbor and go outside, call her friends or his friends and, you know, try to get the information, okay, and prepare the instructions, whatever he got. Because her mother was not at all there uh, or his mother was not at all there, she he was not able to call and, you know, uh, and take the instructions, but they prepared as per the instructions. Now the food is ready by the time she came and... Uh, they served, okay, he served that particular dish to other. Okay, this is scenario one. Let us take another scenario uh, where your mother said to cook. And she is in the house now with you, okay. She is in the house now and uh, and is with you now, okay. Now, when she said to cook, okay, 
what you are going to do again you will try to understand from okay what she said to you to cook i know you will try to start your cooking okay but because she was there beside you you will now ask uh, about the recipe like how uh, i should i start what should i keep what should i put okay even you would have seen your uh, youtube also during that time but it is because like the person was nearby there was someone there you asked them okay and you prepared as per the instructions given but at the same time whenever you got a time okay or whenever while cooking you might have given some of the portion to her and asked to taste right that means you are trying to get the feedback once you got the feedback like if she might say like it is salty or it is sour or it is something spicy then you might have adjusted something and you know at the end so it is not 90% accurate 100% accurate as per her expectation but it you delivered something okay now in which scenarios you think like this, uh, the dish is going to be very good obviously uh, by the second scenario second okay obviously sir scenario 2 yes okay right exactly so the scenario 2 works very well why, why because why why do you think it works well because for each and every step we are all we are interacting with the person uh, for right. example our mom and mm -hmm. we can correct it at the particular stage for example there are some five or six steps to mm -hmm. prepare the food means if we make mistake in the first step then right. itself we can able to know that we did some mistake and correct at this stage right right very nice so to uh, this happens to you know daily life right everywhere like whenever you there is something which you know we don't know and we ask we take the feedback and we are we work on it okay then there we do the good result. i mean we do something you know correct our steps okay uh, try to adapt okay and you know try uh, try to change and we will try to meet their expectations so this happens everywhere in our life we, unknowingly we do that and in this way we are just trying to implement the agile way of working agility in the business flexibility okay trying to you know uh, be more flexible in our uh, way of approach or working so so what we understood from the which made a good food is like you asked her feedback you worked on the feedback given to you you were at the same time being inspected by your mom that's one important thing right so when you are doing uh, there was some person who was inspecting you and uh, because he was inspecting you you were doing properly okay and uh, you were very clear on what you are doing also okay in the either in the first place or in the second place there was a lot of transparency uh, transparency in the sense like there was a person who was seeing you he seeing your steps of doing it there was a lot of transparency in it and you were not hiding anything that's one of the good thing okay transparency is one good thing and uh, you showed her how you are progressing okay and you are at the same time you are taking the feedback and working on it so you are able to adapt to what she suggested so this this whole thing okay this whole thing is unknowingly we are adapting the agile you know methodology in our life okay we are taking the feedback working on it uh, changing it okay adapting to that and getting the good result right so in the similar way okay if you ask me like how a scrum master is going to do okay no the scrum framework is actually has come from this agile methodology okay taking those principles of agile okay we have 12 principles of agile and four values okay so two people uh, there are so many people have actually were in the discussion of developing the scrum framework but uh, uh, jeff sutherland and ken shaw but like these two people they actually you know formulated this particular scrum framework and uh, scrum methodology Sorry, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, Scrum framework, and uh, so we we will see like how these uh, values and the principles are laid down so that you know we can efficiently work and you know give a good uh, end product to the customer. So that's how actually if, uh, taking from our day to day life experience, this has been done. Okay, but if you see before that, there was a right way of delivering the product that was called as a waterfall model. Did you ever work in this waterfall model? Trad uh, traditional waterfall model. Uh, 
Oh, I'm not sure how the waterfall model okay. works. Sir. Yes. So it, in the traditional waterfall model, actually, uh, there will be one phase called as requirement phase. Here, they will be sitting with the customer and taking the uh, requirements like what actually he needs, what he wants, what specifications he has and all. Okay, everything he will take it. And that is called as a requirement phase, which will be last for 10, with, with a lot of meetings happening in between them. It may take almost a, a one month's time, let us say. Okay, let us take it, it takes one month. Then comes the design phase. So they will be designing like, uh, they will be creating a, a design document for that one. If they are doing some Java or some programming language, any, so they will create a design document for that one. They will be uh, programmers, experienced programmers, SMEs, or architects who will create a pseudo code for this one, or write pseudo code, and they don't do all the type of design which is required. From the design point, if that is done, okay, which let us say it will take one month time, okay, then they will go to the development. Now the people will start writing the code. In the development phase okay uh during that time you no, know, they can implement any of the technologies or what they have uh, assumed okay uh, so they will you know start working on it and once the development is done they will be giving it to the testing team or the testing team is going to work on it uh, uh, you know find out the bugs and all and again you know the whole thing is going they will test and see the review the reports to the table so this is going to happen after testing is done they will make use of CACD pipeline or what not they will deploy that and once they are deployed in the production, okay, we are taking an environment, but if it is a production environment, then it will go into your maintenance. Okay. So this all happens only one after another. Okay. You see design happening only the required if the requirement is the stage is done. Okay. The development will happen only if the first two stages are done. Our testing will happen only when the three are done. Okay. So what do you think is one of the drawbacks here? Here. Do you have, do you notice any drawback? Yeah, or is everything okay? Maybe okay. Uh, in the water. Sorry. Maybe in the. Yeah. Uh, maybe what I'm thinking is waterfall model is exactly like the scenario one of the mom and the kid mm -hmm. cooking. True. 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 Yeah, that is one of the scenarios. Yes, that is one of the uh, way. Uh, another thing, uh, see, there are a lot many actually. If you see a testing guy here, okay, he has to wait for three months to get the particular thing to be tested, right? Unless he has another project, if he's working on only one project, he has he will be waiting ideally for three months, okay? Got it? Or if the development team is there, he has to wait for two weeks, two months, sorry. So, there is a lot of wait time happening, okay. If the customer uh, wants to have something in the middle, let us say in the testing phase, the customer uh, felt that after three months, he felt that this product is going to be a little bit you know, old and obsolete. Let us try to add some new features. Let us take an example. Uh, your mobile phone is there. After three months, uh, let us say from December, from the March month, they felt like they will be delivering in the month of June. Okay, But in the month of March in 2024, you realize that Okay, there is an IA feature which I want to have in this mobile. Uh, so please, you will go to that particular again to the team and ask you, please do that for me. You know, I have paid some amount, right? I'll pay some extra amount. Get that IA feature in my mobile. Then you will you be able to take that? Absolutely. Does not. it happen? We won't take it. Why? Because yes. we have done our design, we have done our development. Okay, after three months when you're coming and asking to do something again extra, for which again I need to take the requirements, again I need to work on it, okay, I need to create a pseudo code, again I have to develop. That will take again two to three months time, which I can't deliver, as you said, in five to six months, which I, can't, I am not able to do it. You will clearly say no, right? So, one of the disadvantages of waterfall is everything is fixed here. You can't, you know, encourage the change which comes in between the process, right? You can't encourage everything. Once it is freezed, that means it is freezed. Okay. If you have any other changing require change requirement, better wait till the next re cycle comes. You have to wait that you are going to say to the customer. Now will the customer come to you again? By the time your product is released, okay, other pro uh, other uh, companies might have released their own, you know, the latest version of the mobiles. Okay, they may be having a lot many things in their mobiles. Okay, then he will be left to behind, right? Am I correct? 
Yes, sir. So this is one of the disadvantages of the world. These are the disadvantages. One thing is you can't encourage the change requirements in between. There is a lot of wait time which is happening. Okay. And uh, you can't incorporate those things. Uh, okay. So this is one of the disadvantages. Okay. Uh, delayed deadline. Okay. And no working software is produced. We don't know. The customer doesn't know when to when he will see like how his particular thing is working till it comes to the end of the cycle. So a lot of risk, a lot of uncertainty is there. You said to have a mobile phone, probably if he creates a mobile phone with uh, not, not at all, mobile, something else, okay? <laughs> we can't say something else, but maybe not what he expected. Okay, That's going to be a little bit risky also. A okay. lot of documentation is required, okay? A lot of time is going to be, you know, utilized for the developers and testers. So this is these are the disadvantages of waterfall model, okay? So do you really... Uh, feel like uh, waterfall model is a little bit uh, complex or, uh, or uh, was it a failure? What do you say? I say definitely it is a failure. Mm -hmm. uh, Good. Maybe, you uh, said. Yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe yeah, the yeah, reason please. is like, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe the reason if it is like a cooking means that's okay it, it, uh, some uh, vegetables was wasted but what if the projects because a lot of projects mm -hmm. makes a lot of budget so at the yes. final stage only we came to know that the whole thing developed by the designer team or the developer team was failed means the whole budget will okay. be vanished right okay okay so before before agile or scrumming came into picture waterfall was there and a lot many projects were successful, very successful. Got it. So do you think is it was a failure? So can you ask me one more time? I didn't get your question correct. See, yeah. Before the Agile came into picture, the only way of delivering was through waterfall, right? The waterfall also, waterfall method also delivered a lot of very good projects, very successful projects. Either you know or what not many big companies, big shots have delivered very good big projects, which were waterfall model. Owned. Agile came into picture only ten to fifteen years back. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Maybe a uh, time factor because at mm. that time uh, the mm. budget and the time factor also matters. That's why waterfall mm. makes as mm. a, mm. a success. Mm. Okay, at that time maybe you are saying it's a success. Okay, so this may this may be one of your interview question. Like when the people are happy about the waterfall, okay, okay, when the people are very much happy the way you are working, okay, if it is in the waterfall also if they are happy to work with, then you don't change that. Okay, that's what actually is recommended. Let it go. Don't expect, no, don't go there as a scrum master and say, no, let's stop this waterfall and go with Ajay. No, if the customer is happy with whatever you are doing, if the customer is happy with a product getting delivered after six months, that's fine. If he's fine in that, okay, go ahead with that. Don't change that particular process. Okay. So Ajay will only come when he wants to have an iterative way. Iterative in the sense, delivering it every regular intervals. Okay. And he wants to have a new feature added at every interval. That is the increment. Okay. Iterative in the sense happening regularly. Iterative okay. procedure. Uh, sorry, I, actually, I have one point. Like, actually, yes, please. Uh, if the Agile model is better than a waterfall uh, in terms of one point. Like, uh, their uh, waterfall method, uh, the requirements and uh, everything was fixed and freezed. There, right. uh, we didn't have a chance to modify the uh, features according to the current trend. But in yes. Azure, uh, there are uh, so many competitors are there. Uh, every uh, everyone is moving to um, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, in a, um, a dynamic model. So, so, so I give one example. Uh, if we take uh, Samsung and Apple, uh, they are uh, uh, continuously developing their products. Uh, uh, so yes. Yeah, obviously, uh, if a product and uh, one a feature is developed uh, yeah, by Apple, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the same way uh, Samsung also tried to implement their product are better than their product, so right. for, uh, selling their sales. 
if we go by above with the waterfall model it's not mm -hmm. possible uh, uh, and we cannot compete with the uh, apple if you go with the agile uh, so in middle also we can add uh, or we can remove unnecessary things and we can add whatever the things are required uh, uh, the requirements so True. based on this flexibility uh, we can uh, we can suggest uh, better than uh, uh, rather than waterfall waterfall model yes the, yeah, got it. So yeah, what what you said is is absolutely correct. What everyone has in their mind is absolutely correct. What I say here is, uh, if the customer is happy, okay, please take this into thing. Okay, if he's happy with the waterfall model, that's okay. He wants to have, if he wants to have his particular product getting delivered, okay, after a certain number of months, okay, when he's requirements are frozen is happy with that okay then that's fine you can go with the waterfall model there is no problem at all there are so many companies even now they are delivering with this waterfall model okay so a uh, customer is not in a hurry -burry to have his product into the market okay, if that is the case that's fine you can go with waterfall yes considering the flexibility the agility like how fastly you are delivering yes agile takes the advantage that's what okay Go, yeah, I mean yeah, I, I consider your point is absolutely right your Mamshi Krishna point is also absolutely right but only thing is if you are okay with with the timelines and all yeah it's up to the customer how, how he wants to go okay so but as a scrum master if you are asked to like uh, given this particular scenario like which one you feel like this is better or this better yeah taking the advantage agility is always better agile method is always better but if the customer wants to have in that but okay let it go on try to disturb that particular process that's what i i want okay good good discussion thanks for that okay uh so we have uh as i said agile uh, way agile iter uh, agile uh, Agile methodology is one of the iterative approach. Yeah. Iterative in the sense a cyclic approach, okay, uh, which happens, it starts, okay, within, uh, it takes with a shorter period of time and then starts from the beginning. It's an iterative approach. At the same time, uh, you get a new features added each and every release, okay, in every iteration. That's something called as an increment, okay. So, so in that way, uh, the Agile methodology, you know, in a frequent duration, they are going to deliver a certain feature into the or a software into the market. Okay, so that's what is about uh, the agile way of delivery. We have a lot many things in the agile that is Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, okay, FDD, okay, Lean. But we mostly concentrate in this particular training about the Scrum, okay, and the Kanban. Kanban, we I will go, I will give an overview. We, we here in our uh, I'm mostly now all the IT companies like we generally go with a scrum or Kanban. Uh, okay, uh, rarely we come across these type of things, but it's just to know. I mean, good to know, but not very. You know, even if someone asks, you can say that yeah, our thing was on a scrum and we didn't implement any of these things. But you should make should be aware like there are so many things in the agile. There's an umbrella where you have a lot of things, and uh, scrum is one of the framework that you are taking. Okay. Fine. Uh, so this is a, a general uh, a difference between uh, you know, traditional waterfall and agile, and we will just talk about how actually agile came into picture. Okay. Uh, so we'll take two minutes of time. Okay, and for your questions also. And uh, hey, Shaker Thagi, uh, welcome back. I think uh, you missed in the last batch. Uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> so thank you so much. Yes. Uh, that was rescheduled actually, so I was not able to join at nine p.m. I already yes, played the round, but they said that they will adjust in the next batch. Yes, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah I was really adjusting that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got it. No problem. You can join back. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, so uh, right. So, like, have you heard about this game called uh, rugby? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. rugby. Yes, yes. Very nice. So you know, rugby is a game in which you know um, uh, there is one ball like where you know that is going to be uh, moved from back and forth, okay, 
if any of the team member does any foul, okay, uh, then you know the empire or the refer uh, referee is going to show some card, okay. Then they have to play from start from the beginning, okay. That is called a scrummage. So the word has come from there, that particular game rugby and that particular uh, uh, foul is called as a scrummage where they have to restart the game once again, okay, and where they again they need to pass the ball back and forth, uh, not allowing. Uh, the opponent team should not allow that particular passing of the ball to the team. So, this is how the rugby actually is played. Uh, okay. Uh, so, this was the term from where it has been taken. So, it was first implemented in 1993 by Jeff Sutherland and uh, okay, and so on other people. Uh, they have actually uh, drew this particular concept uh, from this article. The new product development came in 1986. Okay. So, it was in the initial stages. Okay. So it was in the initial stages they took all these references and um, so where in uh, Takechu Nonaga these two people okay compared this new approach with a particular game called rugby okay so the, from here they have taken these two people in 1995 okay they introduced uh, the scrum development process okay so they have shown this particular uh, paper they have put forward this particular presentation in a meeting in a uh, uh, called in you know, a first public appearance paper called uh, Oopsla, okay. Uh, Object oriented programming systems, language, and application Texas. So they have presented their paper in 1995. In 2001, Agile Manifesto was being developed, okay. Now, this was developed by almost 17 uh, associates in Utah, okay. They just, you know, went to the, you know, for, uh, the hotel type of thing, you know, they sat together for a few days and they, they have developed this particular uh, guide, okay. So, from there onwards, uh, the Sutherland and Schauber and a community of Scrum practitioners have, you know, not only started implementing the Scrum framework, but also produced high-performing teams in organizations globally. So, from there, the Agile Manifesto got delivered. In 2002, they formed the Scrum Alliance, okay. In 2014, uh, they presented the value of Scrum to the organization. So, till then, just, you know, it was only formulating. And 14, like, they presented this particular to the organization, how it's going to work to them. And 2016, okay, they formed this fully scalable Scrum, okay. So, in 2017, what we got was the first uh, Scrum guide, okay. So, uh, Jeff Sutherland and Ken Schauber, these two people have created, uh, have formulated this guide in 2017. So the first version comes in 2017 and the second version comes in 2020, 2020. So you, uh, when you join this course, you have to download this particular uh, scrum guide from the link which I give. Okay. And that will be of 14 pages. We will be going through each and every line of the scrum guide. Okay. So that because whenever someone in the interview or in the exam, okay, whenever an interview asks, like those questions will be so much misleading or so much, you know, confusing. If you are not thorough with a particular scrum guide, you are, I, I will, I can definitely say like, you know, you are going to make a mistake. So we are going to read each and every line in the scrum guide. Okay. And, you know, give our reference on the scrum guide itself. You should always say that, as per the Scrum Guide, no, this is the way how it works, and I, we do like this. So that that's the way your answer should be, and now that that's the way you should convince a, a interviewer. If you say uh, without referring to the Scrum Guide, probably you know uh, there are chances that you will be asked more questions. Okay. In general, like people say, like um, who is accountable for what? Let us take for the daily Scrum. It's a meeting for fifteen minutes. They will ask you who is accountable for the daily Scrum. Now, if you don't read the Scrum Guide, okay, if you just, just you know, go through the slides somewhere if you find it, okay, and you know, unless you have what actually is written in, unless you read that what is actually written in the Scrum Guide, can't you know really give the correct answer to that. In the, it is said in the Scrum Guide, okay, the development team is responsible or accountable for the particular daily Scrum, okay. And then you should say as per the Scrum Guide. The development team is responsible are accountable for the daily scrum. Okay. Then you will confuse you like why not scrum master? Why what is the role of scrum master? No, why no the scrum master is not at all accountable for the daily scrum. 
the scrum master responsibility is to empower the development team to have their own daily scrum okay so these are everything mentioned in the daily in the scrum guide we need to read each and every line we need to you know underline make a notes of that write it somewhere okay make a good you know this thing, which i will you know stressing on those important points it each and every topic okay you need to remember that you have to prepare for in terms of the examination also on the interview perspective. So those will be things which will be discussed. So in tomorrow's class, I will give you the link on the Scrum Guide. You try to download that, take a printout, take a pen or a sketch pen, underline, okay, as we go through this content, okay, you have to go to each and every line, underline that, understand that, okay, and we will, we will you know, try to you know, have a very good discussion in the classes uh our discussion is now so what i actually expect from you people okay it's maybe it's two days two to three days it's a demo i won't mind you people you uh, know talking i want you to talk i want you to you know, don't just sit idle okay what i'm expecting from you is this so these are three classes right two to three classes are free but at the same time what i'm expecting from you is be you know talk more communicate more be proactive Okay, try to learn something out of this. We participate in this uh, discussions. Nothing now, it's free only, right? Or, or one hour, if you talk, there's nothing going to happen. Because once you become the Scrum Master, you have to talk for, you know, as for how many years? Like if you are the uh, dozen number of years, you have to be, you have to keep on talking to so many people. So that's what I do. I encourage people, you to talk. Maybe it is, it may be wrong. It may be right. Even I may be wrong. I have to admit that. Okay. So if we go wrong, yeah, we can learn. So from tomorrow's class, we will uh, go with agile principles, twelve principles, and uh, the four values. Shekhar uh, Tagi, if you are not, uh, I mean, attended, yeah, you can. No problem. But yeah, we'll start with the uh, agile principles. We'll have a very good discussion on this one. You will. Uh, we'll talk a lot on those things. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Any questions, Swamshi, Was, Venki, Carlos? Uh, no, sir. Everything is clear. No, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Sir, only the course duration is only 20 days. Is very. I feel it is less, sir, because uh, uh, yes. lots of things are there. Scrum no? Master, real-time projects, how they deal, what are the challenges they face. Because 20 class means we can learn from, you know, from book, books also. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, kindly, I mean, yeah, yeah, just yeah. Kindly, yeah, kindly, yeah, yeah. Put some real time, you know, how the challenges will be, how to must uh, yeah. do. So, okay. Uh, 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 management. Yeah, I can. We can justify that. Uh, was yes, yeah. yes. What you have said is correct, but we can justify that in different ways. See, CSM certification is for two days. Yeah. Because from my perspective, oh, because for example, if 30 day, thirty thousand or twenty five to thirty thousand, they take it for two days. And you can't expect uh, uh, experience. Uh, not, <laughs> I'm you, not about this one. Even Durga Soft also, yes. for example, you see Azure, you know, and AWS uh, courses, they're charging 8,000. Even other institutes also. That course okay. almost costs 45 days, 45 days to 50 days like that. So yeah, okay. this is in terms of the money. I mean, uh, not mm -hmm. about the money, just, uh, I mean, it is good for uh, students also. If you can kindly add one more week extra. Yeah, this is... Conflict management, any other uh, real-time, so that it will be helpful for us. Because only 20 classes and uh, the amount we are paying uh, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't match. Sir. So if at yeah, least I think... classes, yeah, 30 classes, mm -hmm. if it's good, yeah, then even a lot of people also we think at least, okay, it is good for money like that. Because mm -hmm. 20 classes, it will go like that. No, actually, uh, 20 classes are, uh, no, I won't say uh, 20, if you make it 30, like previously, the first batch, which I run, like it was 30, 35 classes, which we have put it. Yeah, but by the time you come to an end, okay, people will be mostly, you know, they, you, it, it takes, you know, for to for you to take also, it's a very difficult thing. Okay. I can't drag. It's not a programming uh, concept where I can say, you know, yeah, this concept, today we will do this. Yeah, uh, those who are interested, uh, they can continue, sir. If they are enough no. for them, they can stop it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. No, wow. Uh, like the things which are not yeah sorry to this uh, things which are not there in the scrum okay we can't take it okay if you say about conflict management it is not at all related to scrum risk ah, no, management is not related example, to scrum like okay. uh, real time challenges actually how you uh, real time challenges we are taking parallelly in the class we will discuss all the important behavioral interview, interview questions as well as real time scenarios uh, but uh, 
it, it I mean, it, if you take more classes, right, it, it is not going to serve the purpose, to be frank. So what we have done is in the same class, we will take extra five to 10 minutes and uh, we have put that particular questions. Uh, maybe okay, so last have in that classes. No, sir, what you can do is after 30 classes or 25 classes, you can plan for another five class only for the project perspective. Let us say we take one project and we all like, a, you know. Uh, no, so actually we go to the Scrum do, Guide. Like that you can yes, yes, start the project yeah, time, just, time project. Yeah, let me say my point now, you see. Scrum Guide is of 14 pages. So all the things which you mentioned, the roles, responsibilities, events, everything will come. It will take almost, I say about eight, one week time. Okay. It will take almost one to 10 days. Okay. After that, what you have is the starting of the sprint planning, which you will do with a Jira. Okay. That's a real time project. Real time in the sense, you will take one of the uh, project. You will take that particular epic. Okay. And we'll drill down and assign the tasks or user stories to you individuals. I will take dummy email IDs from you people. Okay, create one Jira project, assign to you people, and we will work on it. Every day, we will have a daily scrum for 14 days. Hope you got it. So 10 days, if we take the scrum guide takes almost 10 to 14 days, the sprint takes. So it's almost 24 days, okay, 20 to 24 days. So in parallel, we'll have all the topics covered. Got it. We are you are not going to code on it, okay? We you will assume we will make you as a developer we will feel like you know you are a developer or you are someone as a tester and we'll discuss on uh, what the role that you are going to play okay how what do you need to update in the jira how you are going to you know uh, give the scrum call or retrospective meeting how what you are going to do in the demo and everything will be discussed so that will take every day like we'll see the jira board and see like a same so that's going to happen in parallel and we will also in parallel discuss on the other topics okay so we can't wait see if you are doing real time situation if developer is there, he can work on something else, right? And you can come to the daily scrum and discuss. But here, like what you are going to work, just assigning the user stories and you talk about that, nothing more. You are a scrum master role. See, this is a scrum master role again. You, you, you will not be a developer here, not a tester here. You will be a scrum master. And what role is a scrum master? You have to see how they are doing it, how they are conducting the meeting or, or how you are facilitating the meeting. Okay. Here, if I want, uh, if there is an impediment, let us say if there is some break, uh, there is some problem with the developer, uh, with the let us say pro with the DevOps team. Now the Scrum Master, if he approaches to the Scrum Master, the Scrum Master has to put a mail to the develop DevOps team, saying that please work on this and remove the particular impediment that our team member has. For that, I can't take a class. That is a real time scenario. So what you have to do, those things will be discussed. As a Scrum Master, what we have to do, those rules and responses will be discussed. We will take the real time scenarios of that one. But uh, it, it will not take that much time and people are going to be really exhausted after I say. Or maybe you can take the this one, sir, say, test exam, sir, then, so we can walk through the exam. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. That, that will happen. Uh, I can take uh, the assessment part in parallel with you people once we complete uh, the every day you can conduct uh, from the discussion. Are there. Yes. Are there. Yes. Yes. Yes, at least, yes, uh, you know, yes. 20 classes is very less, I feel. So at least if you can back to 30 classes, 20 to 30. No, yes. no not uh, no. Uh, actually. Maybe you are expecting a uh, lot 25, of, out of this particular thing. Other five classes you can add. No, for the sake of adding, it doesn't. If I keep a number on that, that doesn't add any value. That's what I'm. Uh, this exams are this test uh, we discuss, na? Like um, mm -hmm. one week, entire one week, we will discuss about okay. the test. We will see how one mm -hmm. one is performing. If any mistakes are mm -hmm. there, we will correct. Others will correct it. No, like that's that not our. Answer, yeah. Was uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the part of this particular. I am. We are not into. Uh, you know, uh, making prepared for an exam. Okay. So this training, whatever the Dukas of people are doing is giving a training. It's we are not uh, training the people for the sake of you know but the to appear for an exam and get the Durga soft a name. Yeah, because you but say you only said thirty classes you took uh, last time, thirty five classes. First time no. we took it, but we felt like it is not days, necessary, so we have con condensed it. Yes. Yeah, that's what so I'm the, saying. Let I'm me clearly. Classes. See, we would like clear... to utilize you actually. We would like to use utilize you and make an opportunity for all the people. So if you give less classes and close the session, so it won't be helpful. That's what I'm saying. 
Okay, fine. See, what what you have said is uh, think about it, sir. Of... Nothing. Uh, no need to take you the answer. Think about it uh, for the extra classes. But uh, you know, my request is benefitable for all the people. Even if mm -hmm. some people might not be understanding. Yeah. It. Let me revision yes. for them. Can... You know, if you go yeah. more, if you keep revision, maybe revision you can do. You know, it will be better. Just five class only. I'm asking. I'm not asking. You know, make it 35 or 40 classes. Uh, 20 to 25 is the uh, classes. My goal. Let me say what my goal is. Okay. Uh, okay. What sir, no soft goal is because if we are clear in our what we are doing. Okay, I don't want to give a false <laughs> this thing to you people because after 15 classes, I say most of the people will be, you know, be, you know, fully with this thing. They rarely come up <laughs> because they don't want to discuss. Most of the people will keep calm. They won't. You are talking today. Okay. Maybe two people, two, three people are talking today. But uh, out of, you know, 20 people in the last previous batches, I see two to three people talking. Okay. Do you see that's problem. what actually happens? So, what the, my goal overall, the goal is to you know make you aware of the how the scrum, uh, what is scrum guide, how the scrum master should work, okay, how he should behave in this uh, you know project, okay, what tools that he needs to be a scrum master, and also in parallel, we will discuss about the interview questions, the day to you know, and the scenarios based, the behavioral based interview questions, as well as the interview uh, the exam point of view uh, questions okay so it's it's going to be that so here we are not going to train the people on that particular thing which you have said because it's a commitment that we have to give which we are not giving it's up to you to how you prepare okay 20 to 25 classes they are more than enough after that i rarely see people coming back okay <laughs> Okay, so we'll meet tomorrow because I am clear in my point. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you have another expectations, yes, uh, you can convey to Durka Saab and uh, them, let them decide because I am, okay, my point is very much clear for these 20 to 25 days. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So our goal is, my goal for this particular, uh, this thing is to train you on these things. But not to you know handhold you because handholding part is something where other people do it. I know uh, there are so many training institutes, so many people who are doing that, you know, getting benefit of that. But these Durgas of people are mainly concentrating on delivering something for low cost and but training good. That's what I know. If my training is not good, you let me know. Okay, that's not another problem. I can correct that. Okay, but uh, the main aim of Durga Soft is to provide it. Reasonable cost, not that much expensive, okay, so that everyone can gain benefit out of this one. That's what it actually is. Okay, so hand holding probably may not be possible with this particular amount. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, maybe they will look into that. So you can reach out to Durga Soft and uh, give your uh, concerns. Okay, they may look into it. Fine. Yes, yes, Agile Manifesto, yes, everything Agile Manifesto with all the principles, values. Everything we are going to discuss in detail. The 12 principles and values, it's going to take a lot of, I mean, very good time of discussions. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, we'll meet tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank uh, we'll meet thank tomorrow. You. Sure, thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir.